we're learning new details after a man was found shot to death in the backyard of a home in Warren. CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey joins us live from Warren Police Department. Terrell, what can you tell us? Yeah, hey there. Good evening, guys. It's simply a wild situation unfolding in the city of Warren early this morning. And guys, it is a lot of moving parts. Police telling us all of it allegedly stemming from a domestic violence situation. And now it's left one man shot dead. The kids out took her out in handcuffs and it was it was crazy. Georgia Goosty lives on Jewett Street. He recalls being awoken by police lights. Next thing he knows, police entered a home removing multiple people. You hear him yell cleared and then boom and then it was it. They were in. Warren police say around two this morning they found a 23 year old man shot to death in the backyard of a home on Page Avenue. The shooting is alleged to have stemmed from an earlier domestic violence incident involving the victim and his ex girlfriend. I never expected it really. Yeah. I never would have thought it. Investigators were then led a few blocks away to Jewett Street. That's where they spent hours canvassing it. Residents call it a bizarre situation, especially in a rather quiet area. I always thought that their arguing was due to partying, drinking, whatever they do down there, because that's usually when it happens. Once police made it into the Jewett Street home, two women were brought in for questioning. Authorities say further investigations led them to a third home where a 32 year old man was arrested. He's reportedly a relative of the victim's ex girlfriend. There was a lot of commotion outside, a lot of traffic, heavy police in the area. A third woman was also questioned, according to Warren police. Meanwhile, some say their biggest concern is the children in the area. It just raises concerns for the kids, you know. People can't be just going out shooting people for stupid things. Just because you're mad don't mean you give you the right to shoot somebody. Now, in total, Warren police say two people are in custody pertaining to that homicide. Of course, a lot still needs to be revealed, but police say this investigation and charges are forthcoming. Guys, we're live in Warren this evening. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit. All right, hopefully they get to the bottom of it. Very concerning. Thanks, Terrell.